it automatically uh, generates a shockwave that freezes uh, nearby combatants. Uh, Whisper fissures basically increases the size of my stasis crystal or defeating a target. Uh, basically, uh, Whisper chains have whenever I'm nearby targets, uh, I take less damage. Whisper torment. Every time I throw my cold snap grenade uh, and that target takes damage, uh, it feeds its grenade and energy back into me. Uh, Whisper Fraction, defeating slowed or frozen targets, grant I me mean, class ability. So whenever I de defeat a slowed or frozen target, it's going to grant me uh, class ability energy, which is super great. Uh, this pairs up nicely, uh, conditional finality, landing nearly all of your stasis pellets will freeze. Landing nearly all solar pellets will ignite. We're not really concentrating on uh, solar pellets, we're concentrating on just freezes in everything, okay? Uh, to pair this up nicely, uh, AHO bond, uh, stability, destabilizing in rounds, uh, final blows uh, cause targets to become volatile. So whenever uh, I get a final blow, uh, it'll make them volatile. Also, since we are in an avoid area, defeating a avoid debuff target grants me an overshield for eight seconds okay um then precise uh sword uh precision final blows are rapidly defeating uh targets well uh i, I actually hold on right here uh thin precise final blows at the wrong thing on uh chain reaction uh pretty much uh, every final blow i create it creates an elemental explosion okay if I'm rapidly defeating targets, uh, it improves my health generation, buddy. And uh, also, uh, since this is uh, unsated hunger, basically increases my handling and reload state speed and stability when no uh, abilities are fully charged. So we're procking that. We're procking these two. Uh, Overcharge arm, armory pretty much states uh, if the modifier is active, it will overcharge my weapons. We are not running any surges because we really, really don't need to. Improved unraveling. Increased amount of the damage dealt by unraveling on target. Uh, right here. Cosmic, con, uh, conductive cost of needle targets affected by my strand DBS take increased Damage to Arc and Void. We don't really need that because it doesn't really depend, uh, pertain to us. Uh, let's see. Ominous Eagles basically gives me an additional Cold Snap Grenade. Uh, Ashes to Assets again. Super Energy on Grenade Kills. Uh, Dynamo reduces your super cooldown whenever you're nearby uh, targets. So basically, whenever I'm nearby a bunch of targets, then it's gonna uh, reduce my class ability, which is my rift. Okay. Uh, whenever uh, I get multi kills, uh, it creates me a void siphon, which is really good. Therefore, when I pick up the void sop siphon, it's gonna uh, proc. Okay. Okay, uh, final bullets uh, cars nearby targets to uh, become volatile, uh, defeating a void deep web target grants an overshield. Okay, uh, we are running uh, two times the void resistant, charged up, increase the maximum number of stacks every time I get an armor charge. Uh, you can carry it by one. Uh, stacks on stacks, picking up on an orb. Which I'll be picking up on our it basically grants to me one stack of armor charge. Recuperation replenishes health each time you pick up on an orb. Uh, elemental charge collecting a fire sprite, ionic trace, stasis shard, or void bridge destroying a strand tangle, escalating in the chance of giving me an armor charge. So any time I destroy a stasis shard, uh, or pick up one, uh, I get a chance to get an, uh, uh, what, what, what do you call these things? Uh, armor charge, sorry. 
Okay, so uh, distribution. Radio use is all class ability. Cooldowns. So not only am I getting a cooldown on my super, but I'm also getting a cooldown on all class ability cooldowns. So I'm getting a, uh, uh, cooldowns on my super and all class ability cooldowns whenever I'm nearby targets. Okay. Uh, utility kickstart when your class ability energy is fully expanded, you gain class ability energy. Uh, whenever uh, I get a multi kill and I create uh, uh, like uh, orbs, uh, basically all I have to do is uh, uh, pop my rift, and it, that's basically like a guardian magnet. Okay, I don't have to hunt them down. All I have to do is just pop my rift, and the orbs will come right to me. Uh, we're really strong. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is the infinite cold snap, uh, grenade, and rips, um, uh, build. Um, sit back, relax, enjoy the fireworks, uh, make yourself at home, uh, yeah. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna constantly, uh, freeze targets, and we're gonna be constantly getting grenade energy. Every time when we, uh, feed... Uh, the cold snap grenade into our targets uh, we're getting grenade energy back so you can constantly see the cycle over and over and over okay every time I uh, get a kill with my uh, my conditional finality basically what it's gonna do it's gonna kill the target okay it's gonna kill the target and hold on. Okay, it's gonna kill the target and then it's gonna track out seekers, okay? So if I wanted to do let's say pop my rift. Okay, every time I freeze a target, it's granting me rift energy. You guys see this? Okay. So if I pop down my rift again, every time I forget a target, it grants me rift energy. Pretty broken, right? <laughs> and if I freeze this guy, so if I freeze this guy right here. Actually, he didn't really freeze. So we're just gonna come up here. We're gonna pop our super. Clear out these little uh, Cyclops guys, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna wait till my super runs down. Once it runs down, and then we're just gonna come back in here. We're gonna come back right here. So I'm gonna freeze some of my targets. We're constantly free targets. Every time I freeze a target, I get ripped in iron sheet, okay? So I could be freezing in this guy over and over again, okay? Every time I freeze a target, I get class ability energy, okay? So if I want to freeze this guy again, it's going to grant me class ability energy. Not only that, I'm getting every time I freeze as a target, I get grenade energy back. Okay. So if I want to take these guys out, I'm gonna come on over here, and I'm just gonna freeze this guy. Okay, every time I freeze these guys, all right? I get 
Every time I freeze these guys, I get class of building energy. Not only am I getting class of building energy, every time I throw a cold snap grenade, it feeds grenade energy right back into me. So, I pop my rift. Okay. I can finish him off. And there we go. So, if I want to constantly, like, let's say if I want to, okay, the area is secure. So, basically, if I want to go to the, like, Look at my destination, go to the moon, we'll head in into Tsar Harbor, and we'll do that, their activity. So, uh, basically, uh, how, how, did, how do you like the build so far, Malik? Do you, do you think it's uh, pretty cool? Basically, every time when I'm nearby targets, not only am I uh, have a cooldown for my class ability, when nearby targets, I also have a class ability. Or I have a cooldown for my class ability. I have a cooldown for uh, 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 all ability cooldowns. Every time I freeze a target, it tracks. Whenever I freeze or slow a target, it grants me class ability and energy. Every time I throw a cold snap grenade, it grants me uh, grenade energy. Uh, if I, let's say, use my condi conditional uh, finality, basically what happens is I get a kill. When I get the kill with my stasis spell, basically what that is going to do, it's going to send out a little seeker. When it freezes that seeker, then I could just do a rinse and repeat all over again. It's super amazing and super fun build. Uh... I'm sharing the, my link in the description below, so anybody that wants to uh, check it out, feel free to uh, like watch, uh, you know, try out my build. I mean, th this is really good for like dungeons, uh, raids, um, <clears throat> grandmasters, pretty much end game content or super easy content. It's it's really great fun build I hope you guys uh, try it out it's like I mean like I said it's uh, definitely a super amazing I'm just gonna head over here to these guys right here. Okay, we're gonna freeze our target. We're gonna activate our class ability. Okay, every time I freeze a target, just remember, I'm getting back class ability and energy, okay? If I stand next to targets, it ready to do this as my both super and all ability cooldowns, okay? So I get a kill with my shotgun. Once I get the kill with my shotgun, it's gonna uh, send out seekers, okay? I don't really had nothing to kill because there isn't nothing to kill. So I gotta wait for my abilities to come back when there's nothing to kill. Oh, that's alright. So we're gonna pick up this orb. We're gonna get that armor charges going. So if I get a kill, it's gonna send it out a seeker. Did you see that, guys? Just remember, remember my second shot. When I kill something, it's gonna it's gonna ignite the uh, target. 
So I get a kill. It's gonna ignite. If if I freeze. Oh, this guy's taking my kills. Okay, so if I want to get next to this lady, I freeze my target. Okay. I can pick up a tang off there, right? This guy is like blocking everything I have, but. Okay, we're gonna kill that guy. We can pick up the orb, uh, get armor charge. Tell him you're trying to make a video. Yeah, right. So, basically what I'm gonna do, guys, as soon as all the ads come around me, I'm gonna wait for a bunch of ads to come around me, as soon as I do, I'm gonna pop my rift, and it's gonna instantly freeze. It's gonna instantly uh, freeze uh, my targets. So we're gonna ignite that guy. We're gonna pick up whatever specials over here. Looks like I don't see any special. But I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the build right now. Like I said, it is a infinite cold snap grenade and rift build. Uh, super amazing. So I'm gonna freeze the targets, okay? Every time I freeze a target, okay, I'm gonna activate my rift. When I freeze a target, whenever they're slowed, or if I defeat the target, it grants me uh, rift energy, okay? So that's super amazing. I use my melee, okay? Okay, see, every time I freeze or slow a target, it grants me class ability energy, okay? Like I said, guys, this is super amazing, super strong. Every time I kill the target with my shotgun, it's gonna seek out seekers, okay? Pop my red. I get the other seekers to get a little bit of grenade energy, rift energy back. Every time I damage so this a work with a regular stasis shotgun. Yeah. If if I freeze my target, not only am I getting grenade energy, okay, but every time. I do damage with my grenade, it stays right here. Uh, defeating slow or frozen targets grant you class ability energy. So I'm in my rift, we're gonna take out this wizard right now. We're just gonna take her out, that way she's not hurting me anymore. Okay. We're gonna freeze this guy. Okay, we're gonna freeze him again. Okay, notice how I got my class ability energy back. Okay, whenever I get a kill with my shotgun, it's gonna send out a t It's gonna send out little seekers, okay? Okay, whenever I pop my rift, okay? I'm gonna pop my rift, we're gonna freeze the target. Every time when we freeze a target, not only are we getting grenade energy, but we're also getting rift energy in return. Okay? Like I said, guys, it's it's a really super fun, amazing build. Okay? Remember, every time I freeze a target, it grants me class ability energy. Okay? And that's basically what 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 we want. We want to keep on and 
like freezing these guys, okay? That's what we want, okay? So if I want my regrets back, I gotta constantly throw my, uh, what do you call it? My cold snap grenades. When I constantly throw my cold snap grenade, it's not only am I getting a uh, grenade energy, guys, okay? I'm getting a class ability energy as well. Whenever I slow or freeze a target, it grants me class ability energy. And whenever I throw out uh, seekers, it also grants me class ability energy. Whenever on nearby targets, I reduce my super cooldown and all ability cooldowns, okay? Like I said, guys, it, it's a super and fun, amazing build. Really is. Okay. Right now, we don't have any uh, uh, energy yet, but we, we will get it out. But like I said, guys, it's a super fun and amazing build. Just remember, whenever you guys have Dynamo or Distribution, Distribution states reduce all ability cooldowns when standing next to targets, right? Dynamo. Reduces super cooldown now when near class uh, when nearby targets. Okay, so not only am I getting a cooldown on dynamo and distribution, it's re it's uh, reducing my cooldown for my super cooldown and at all ability cooldowns. Like I said, guys, every time when I shoot my target, not only when I kill my target, it's gonna track a seeker and it's gonna freeze my target. Okay. Uh, Whisper of Refraction, defeating a slow or frozen targets grants me class ability. Whenever I throw my, uh, cold snap grenade, guys, every time I throw on my, uh, cold snap grenade, uh, it gives me, uh, grenade energy back. Not only does it give me grenade energy back, I'm also getting class ability energy back in the process, okay? Also, when I'm nearby targets, not only am I getting my grenade energy back and class er ability energy back, and I'm reducing my super cooldowns, I also take re uh, reduced damage when the next two targets. Also, I'm using Whisper of Fishers, it also increases, increases the damage size of the burst. Okay? Like I said, guys, we're constantly getting infinite. Uh, uh, healing uh, for our healing rift, and we're constantly getting infinite uh, cold snap grenades. We're constantly freezing stuff, guys. We're constantly sending out a tracker, guys, and we're constantly getting cooldowns. And that's what we want in this build. So if I pick up an orb, when I pick up an orb. I'm, I'm getting armor charges, guys, okay? So we're, we're gonna shoot. Okay, we're, we're gonna shoot our target. Okay, I, I notice how it tracks. Every every time, not only when it tracks, it's gonna freeze with my target. So when it freezes with my target, guys, what happens? What happens, guys? Whenever I'm nearby targets, guys, it reduces my both super and all ability cooldowns. Average time we do a damage to a target. Not only are we getting class ability and energy, but we're also getting grenade and energy back in the process. And it's constantly sending out targets, sending out seekers for my targets, and we're constantly getting that grenade and energy and class ability and energy back. So, if I pop my rift, and I stay in my rift, and I'm constantly freezing targets, it's gonna grant me both class ability energy and grenade energy.
So we're gonna we're gonna pick up the armor charge, okay? Okay, we're just gonna wait for the next activity. Not sure where that's at. Right now, we're just waiting. Okay, it looks like we found something. Okay, right now, we're just gonna pop a rift. And we're gonna th start throwing cold snap grenades. Keep in mind, every time when we damage a target, we're getting in grenade energy, okay? That means we're able to pop rifts. Okay? We're gonna constantly throw the cold snap grenades, alright? We're gonna use our melee. Okay, we're gonna pop a rift. Throw us some more seekers out. Just remember, every time when we freeze somebody, or slow a, a target, we're constantly gaining grenade energy and rifts. And that's what we want. We want to constantly get our rift back. We want to constantly get our grenade back. And that's what we want. Hope you guys are enjoying the build. I think this is my very first crazy build. I mean, in the trip mines were, were great, don't get me wrong. See, see how I, when I used my shotgun, I got the kill with my stasis pellet. It tracked a seeker. What happens, guys, when it tracks a seeker? It slows my targets. Freezes my targets. Every time when I freeze my target or slow my target, and whenever I'm nearby, Is this uh, yeah, no. Whenever I'm uh, by targets, it reduces my super cooldowns and all ability cooldowns. Okay. So right now we're just gonna pop a rift. We're gonna freeze targets. We're gonna constantly get our. Uh, our grenade energy back. Okay, we're gonna freeze. We got our rift back, and that's what we want. We're gonna freeze these guys. And we're gonna constantly send out uh, cold snap grenades, okay? So we're constantly gonna be popping rifts, constantly gonna be spamming rifts and uh, cold snap. And every time when we throw our cold snap, we constantly gain grenade energy and rift energy back. And whenever we need to pick up an orb for armor charge. Pretty amazing, guys. It really is.
So we're gonna send it out, Seekers. We're gonna pop a rift. Okay. We're gonna get the kill on him. Okay, now we got our grenades back. Now we're constantly feeding grenades. Popping our rifts. Really hoping then that you're enjoying in the popsicle sand. This build is super busted. I figure we can use our super while we're here. Pretty amazing so far, I guess. Pretty amazing. So we're getting infinite cooldowns for the super and class ability cooldowns for all a class ability cooldowns. So we're getting infinite class ability cooldowns and super cooldowns when standing nearby the targets. We're getting infinite grenades and rifts. Okay. Just remember every time when we freeze a target. It grants us grenade energy and class ability energy. We're going to be constantly freezing everything, okay? Constantly freezing and everything. Everything is turned to ice. All of the ads are turned into popsicles. And I'm loving every minute of it. Okay? Every time I get a shotgun kill, it sends out a seeker. Waiting for the ads to come around. So we're gonna stand here by the targets, get our super uh, cooldown. Get all of our ability cooldowns, and we're gonna keep spamming these grenades to get our rifts back and our grenades. While we're waiting for our setup to come back, we're just gonna be at school time on the ads. So we're gonna pick up uh, orbs, that way we get the armor charge. Keep in mind guys, I do have age old bond. It states. Okay, so not only are we making uh, orbs, and not only are we making cl all class ability cooldowns, and we're getting infinite rifts, infinite uh, cold snap grenades, but we make this build even stronger, okay? The stabilizing rounds, final blows uh, cause nearby targets to become volatile. If we are in a void activity, repulse a brace, defeating a void debuff target grants an eight second overshield. So not only are we getting all this nice and juicy stuff, guys, 
but we're all solar using in uh, our heavy two thin precise sword okay each final blows with this sword uh, creating an elemental damage explosion okay this is a strand weapon very 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 strong uh, not only are we getting the uh, rapid kills but unrelenting states def uh, defeating rapidly uh, targets improve regeneration for your health so we're constantly getting our health back guys we're constantly reducing both uh, cooldowns on the super and all ability cooldowns but we're getting uh, all of our abilities back infinite class ability rift and energy infinite cold snap grenades you can't ask for a better build you really can't so I'm going to activate my rift on an Every time I throw a cold snap, it's going to freeze targets. Every time it freeze targets, I get my cold snap back. And I get all my rift energy back. So every time we freeze a target. We're getting all of this nice stuff back. Like I said, guys, it's a super fun, amazing build. It really is. I hope you guys try it, because I think this is probably one of my best builds yet. Like, literally. No joke. And the reason why what makes this build so strong, guys, I'll tell you guys why. Conditional finality. Let's say if I have no rift energy or grenade energy. Conditional finality states for the paracausal pellets. Landing in nearly all stasis pellets will freeze targets. Okay, so not only when we freeze a target, it's sending out uh, seekers. What happens, guys, when it sends out seekers? Defeating slow or frozen targets grants class ability energy. Every time an ad comes near me, I freeze them. When I freeze them, I instantly get back my cold snap grenade. As long as I'm feeding cold snap grenades uh, into the targets, um, whenever I slow or uh, get frozen targets and I defeat them, it grants me class of ability energy. Keep in mind that every time when I cast my rift, it generates a shockwave, shockwave that freezes nearby targets. So, like I mean, like I said, guys, an additional cold snap grenade. The the build is right here, guys. If you guys want to get a little preview. Okay, like I said, guys, oh, that actually was the wrong preview. This is my preview. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Disregard that last one. Okay, so this is what I'm using right now. So if you guys want to glance on the preview, knock yourself out. Okay, amazing. This right here, guys, makes everything broken build. A very broken, busted build. And don't get me wrong, I love it. So well, what we want to do is we want to freeze our targets. Okay? You see all that class ability energy I'm getting, right?
I get my class ability and energy back instantly. I get my grenade uh, back instantly. I get my melee back instantly. It's it's pretty it's pretty crazy, guys. It really is. So if I shoot to this guy, I freeze him, destroy him, send us out a seeker, sends out another seeker. Sends out another seeker. <laughs> oh God. B R O K E N B U I L D broken build. He says. So basically, we're just gonna stand right here, and wait for our next victim. Okay, we're gonna stand right on next to here. We're just going to throw out cold snap grenades. It'll allow us to get our class ability back right away. Every time we free something, we're constantly getting everything back. So we're going to use our red. We're going to freeze. Freeze and freeze and freeze. So if we want our grenade and energy back, all we have to do is what? Popsicle time. Freeze. Freeze. And more freeze. More freeze. More freeze. Popsicle time. Popsicle time. Freeze. Pretty broken. So freeze. Get in on our class ability and energy back super fast. Nothing is hurting me. But if I want to, uh, let's say if I want to take them all out, uh, never mind. I was trying to take them all out, but as you guys can see, that this build is really strong. Really is. It's super strong. Like, you couldn't ask for a stronger build. So we're going to use our... We're going to reload our shotgun when you got our stasis pellets. Okay. It's going to seek out a target. It's going to seek out another target. I love this build. Very strong build. So we're just gonna come down here. We're we'll really low our gun. We're gonna pop a rift. We're gonna freeze. Freeze. Popsicle freeze. And we're going to freeze more. We're going to keep on freezing. We're going to freeze. 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 Popsicle freeze. Instantly get a rip back. Okay? Instantly get a rip back. So freeze. 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 More freeze. More freeze. Rift. Freeze. Freeze. More freeze. Freeze. We're gonna keep on freezing, and as you guys can see, there is a lot of bats on me, right? A lot of bats. So what happens, guys, if we had no ability and energy, and the uh, activity is all over with? This is how we get our abilities back. We find a bunch of ads. Okay. We're gonna kill. It's gonna track. 
kill again. We can kill this guy. Not sure where the... Oh, they're over here. So like I said guys, this, this build... Amazing. So we're constantly gonna get grenade energy back. Constantly gonna get rift energy back. Okay. We're gonna use our shotgun. <clears throat> We're gonna constantly send out seekers. Freeze. 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 And more freeze. 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 It's the freeze. Alright guys, uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Like I said guys, uh, I am sharing my demo link in the description below. You get infinite super cooldowns. You get infinite cool snap grenades and rifts. Constantly freezing people. Uh, you can't ask for a better uh, build. You, you really can't. Alright guys, uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Until then guys, Guardians, I'll see you in the next one.